Mustafa Ahmad tends his father's water buffalo in Najaf, southern Iraq, as his family have for generations. But drought threatens their livelihood and overshadows the boy's life. It's forcing his father to sell the animals one by one. <coughs> and they recently lost a two-month-old calf. It breaks Mustafa's heart. <laughs> Last year they had 20. Look at this, the water is stale, says Mustafa's father, Ahmed Abdul Hussein. They're thirsty. Dropping water levels make the water saline and undrinkable. Poor water quality threatens the animal's health and immunity. One expert told Reuters the water quality in Najaf is among the poorest in Iraq, partly because of untreated wastewater and chemical fertilizers dumped upstream. Dried up streams and riverbeds. Najaf province only received around 40% of its usual share of water this year, according to the Ministry of Water Resources. In the nearby district of Um Khashem, the mayor told Reuters the water buffalo population had shrunk from 15,000 to 9,000 in five years. Herders used to grow their own fodder or source it cheaply, but now they struggle to buy the more expensive, often imported stuff. The family lives on the income from milk and dairy products, which has shriveled. Reuters spoke to six families of herders in Najaf province who all said they've had to sell animals or have had livestock die in the past few months. Officials and experts cite several root causes of the water crisis. It's driving people from the countryside. The International Organization for Migration says as of last year, 62,000 people were displaced due to drought in Iraq, many moving from rural areas to the city. Abdul Hussein fears they only have months left of this life. They might have to join the rest of the family on the outskirts of Najaf, where at least they'd have drinking water. <laughs> What he regrets most is that he took his sons out of school years ago to help him tend the flock. Mustafa is 13 but can't read or write. <laughs> Abdul Hussein fears for his son's prospects. <laughs>